Hi, my name is Amelia and I am a librarian at the Randallstown branch. Today, we will learn how to make a type of folded book called a concertina book, named after the instrument that shares the same name. The concertina is similar to the accordion, thus the concertina book is commonly referred to as the accordion book. Folded books have been found as far back as ancient China. In Japan, folded books are called orihan. It is said that monks used these books medicinally, believing that the breeze created by moving the pages of the holy sutras could heal an injury. Today, folded books are a popular format for artist books. Okay, so for our folded book today, we are going to need some thicker type of paper. I'm just going to be using some simple cardstock, glue, any type of glue. I'm gonna use a glue stick, scissors, and then some ribbon that we're gonna tie our folded book up with. And then of course, any materials that you might want to use to decorate your folded book. So paints, fabrics, collage, whatever. All right, so today I am going to use nine pieces of cardstock. And you can, you know, use more to make it a longer book or less to make it a shorter book. It's really up to you and, and how you want to make it. All right, so I'm going to take my first page and then fold it in half. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the second page. to kind of make the bellows, if you will, of our concertina book, I am going to glue these two pages together. I'm going to try to line it up with the worn folded line as best I can. And then, you know, I don't worry about making the, the first go round real glued down so you see it can, it's still coming up a little bit because I just like to place it. I like to make sure I'm lined up. And then I can just go back later and glue the rest down. Just press down nice and hard. And voila! We have our first few pages of our folded book. So you can already start to see how it's kind of resembling like a bellow of a concertina or accordion instrument. And then I'm just going to keep repeating that step until I've used up all my pieces of paper. So again, fold it vertically. Put down the glue. Just close to the fold here to again. Make sure I'm all up here. Looks good. Can go back again. Glue back more. You can see how using a glue stick is a little bit easier than using a just a bottle of glue. But painting on glue is also a good option as well. Now that all of my pages are glued together, I am just going to go back through and make sure 
everything seems like it's pretty tight. I may even cut some little overhanging pieces of paper off if things didn't line up exactly perfectly. And we have our folded book. So you can really see how it's like bellows here, right? Like I'm, I'm playing the accordion. The inclination is to want to make these folded books of a horizontal orientation like this, which is of course um, totally fine. But I did want to demonstrate that it can be done vertically. So you could even have it like a long hanging scroll like this. So once you have kind of decided your orientation, it's because it's gonna probably affect where you put your ribbon. We're gonna take our ribbon and decide which is our, I guess the back of the folded book. And then we're gonna take our glue again. And I'm just gonna make a line of glue down the middle here. Take my ribbon and just press on and glue. On my ribbon. Come back. I like bows, so I'm going to make it a bow. And here you have it. You have your concertina folded book. And then, of course, the next step would be to decorate however you'd like to. So I'm gonna show you some examples that I've made. First, I'm gonna show you a vertical one. And I really love using Sumi ink, which is a type of Japanese ink. So this is just some Sumi ink. And you can see very simple. I just dripped some ink down the page, but I liked it. horizontal one. And then this one, as you can see, I added some pieces of orange and black paper. And this is an example of a horizontal format and with a koi fish and water motif. Thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to make a concertina book. If you'd like to learn more about bookmaking, you can check out BCPL's catalog at bcpl.info.